Welcome to jazztime.com. Today we're going to be comparing the Rolex Submariner Ceramic 114060 on your left with the Tudor Heritage Black Bay 79220N on your right. We're going to compare the pricing, the case, the bezel, the dial, the bracelet, the buckle, and the movement and let you know where at jazztime.com you can buy it for the lowest price. That's www.jaztime.com for the lowest price anywhere online. We match prices, offer free shipping, and a one-year warranty. Now let's go ahead and start with the price. At jazztime.com, you can buy the Submariner for $6,700, and the retail price is $7,500. The Tudor Heritage on your right retails for $3,495 and you can buy it at jazztime.com for $3,100. So the price difference here is a lot. It's about $3,000 difference in price. As promised, I'm going to go through the differences and compare each one. So let's start with comparing the dials. Now the Rolex Submariner here has a maxi dial, it has a black dial which is the same as you see here, but the black dial here is, does not have this matty look to it. And it also has a maxi dial with luminous hour markers and white gold surrounds. Now let's compare that to the Tudor 79220 the patina on it is darker as you see. It also has luminous hour markers. And they're about the same size, but it has a much larger hand. In fact, it's called a snowflake hand that allows it to be read at night. Comparing these two dials side by side, they're approximately the same width or the, the diameter. But you'll notice that on the Submariner, the Submariner, the case, is 40 millimeter, whereas the Tudor Black Bay Heritage has a 41 millimeter case. Can you guys see the difference? Not so much. It's a one millimeter difference, very hard to see. Now moving on to the bezel, the bezel on both of these are a unidirectional bezel. On the Submariner 11460, it has a ceramic bezel as opposed to the Tudor Black Bay that has an anodized aluminum bezel. Now on the Submariner, you can see the ceramic bezel is shinier, it doesn't ever fade, it's very, very hard, and it doesn't scratch. But it's also $3,000 more expensive. The Tudor, on the other hand, has an aluminum anodized bezel. In terms of function, they both do the same thing. They calculate elapsed time. You put the perloid at the minute hand and you simply allow it to time to progress. They're both unidirectional, which allows you to calculate elapsed time when you're diving and to always have a safety buffer and to never have less time underwater to always have more time underwater. So for example, let's say you had been diving for 10 minutes. The watch would look something like this. Notice how I can't turn it back the other direction. So it'll never say five minutes when I've actually dived for 10. And that's why it's unidirectional. That same feature is on a two-door Black Bay. At 10 minutes, I cannot turn the bezel the other direction. Both of them have the same feature. The Submariner has a ceramic bezel, and the Tudor has a matte anodized aluminum bezel. Now moving on to the case, the Rolex Submariner uses a super case. It's a mono block stainless steel case, and as I told you, it has a 40 millimeter diameter. The Tudor also has a mono block case, but it uses a 41 millimeter case. Now if you look at them side by side, they don't look much different. They're only one millimeter difference. Now let's move on to the bracelet. The bracelet, as you can see here side by side, 
The bracelet on your left is using an oyster band. It's a bit thinner. It uses 904L steel, which is the best steel. It's the hardest steel. It's used in chemical and airline industries. And the one on your right, the Tudor, uses also a very nice bracelet, but it doesn't use the same 904L steel. And, but it's also $3,000 less expensive. Now, moving on to the bracelet, I'm sorry, the buckle. The buckle on your left is a Submariner buckle, and that uses a folding oyster safety clasp, meaning it has this extra buckle right here that allows it to be uh, safety clasped in, so if you're doing sports. The Tudor also uses the safety clasp, and it's that, so that when you're doing sports, it doesn't accidentally open. Now I'm going to open them up both so that you can see. The Submariner opens like that. And interestingly, the Submariner has a built-in mechanism to change the bracelet size without actually using any tools. And it allows for up to 20 millimeters of play. This is at the open position. And if I want to change it to make it smaller, I simply pull out and push to the right. Push back in and I've changed it by 20 millimeters or up to 20 millimeters. Pull it out, push it all the way in, pull it all the way out and I've changed it 20 millimeters. Why might you want to do that? Well this is a diver's watch which means sometimes you wear the watch over your wetsuit and you want to have an extension and so this allows for that without any tools. Now, on the Black Bay Heritage, you don't have that. You have a safety class so that when you're doing sports, it still opens like this. But on the back, there is no adjustment. You must actually use a tool to make the adjustment. And as you can see here, you use a pin, you push it in and pull it out. And that allows for an adjustment, but you must have a tool. So that's a difference in the buckle shown side by side. That's the buckle. Now let's move on to the movement here. Now on the Rolex, we have a 3130 movement. It has a, approximately 48 hour power reserve and a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring oscillator. It's precise to plus minus two seconds a day after casing and it's self-winding, mechanical, uh, and perpetual. The, the, in, the movement is made in-house by Rolex themselves. They don't outsource any of it. And it's encased behind this here, a solid case back which you cannot see. Now for the two-door, it also has an in-house movement. And it has a MT5602 in-house COC, COSC certified movement. It's in-house, meaning it's not outsourced to anybody else. And it has a power reserve of 70 hours. That's an extra 20 hours. That means you could put this watch on on Friday, put it on your nightstand, and then not pick it up till Monday and have it still work. Now moving on, shown side by side, We've gone through each one of the pieces. You can go to jazztime.com, get it for the lowest, absolute lowest price. And I'm going to try it on on the wrist for you guys to see at home. There's the watch on the wrist. And the Black Bay Heritage as well. Now if you like this video, click on the YouTube button and hit subscribe. As I told you at the beginning of this video, if you like the Heritage and you want to spend somewhere in the $3,100 range, well this Heritage might just be the watch for you. It doesn't break the bank, it still has many of the great qualities that the Submariner has, 
but at a much more affordable price. If you want to splurge and, and buy the watch of your dreams, the Submariner, one of the most iconic watches of all time, well, here it is. Jazztime.com sells it for $6,700, where the retail price is $7,500. Both of these watches are available at Jazztime.com. Check us out there. We offer one-year warranty, free shipping, and a low-price guarantee. We hope to see you there soon.